I just really love Australia and really want to go. For example, something I really want to do is go to Australia this year. Trying to really put all the I want to go to Australia vibes out there. <gasps> you guys, look it! There it is! <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got here. Well, let's start from the beginning. I hopped up the plane at LAX with way too much luggage because we suck at packing. And by us, I mean the three of us. That's my best friend Bailey on the left, and this is Shannon on the right. And that's me, Amber. But you already knew that. <gasps> you guys, we are going! After 15 hours on the plane and a full day of time travel, we landed in Australia! Jet lagged as hell though. I tried to film an intro to this video like 10 times. Not a single one of them made sense. Uh, really? <laughs> um, I, <laughs> um, <laughs> I really don't know what to say. But that's okay, who needs an intro? So what did we do on my dream vacation? Well, what didn't we do? We did it all. <gasps> oh my gosh, there it is. Look at it up close. This is so wild. I need to touch it. I touched the butt. Ah. Cross that off the bucket list. I've sang <laughs> opera at the opera house. <laughs> I went skipping through the Royal Botanical Gardens. Ah, oh, look how beautiful. Saw the Harbor Bridge. Drove under the Harbor Bridge. And looked at ourselves in a funny mirror. Does this count as sightseeing? No? Well, <laughs> it was a funny sight. We stayed in the craziest cool hotels I've literally ever been to. Like, look at all the marble. Ah! Different city, different hotel, every night. Ah, oh, so fun. Welcome to the Shangri-La Cans. There's just fountains in the middle of the lobby. I loved it. But my personal favorite was the Versace Hotel. Did you even know that existed? Yeah, me either. But I flew across the world to find it, and oh boy, oh boy, was it worth it. Oh my god, are you guys seeing that? <gasps> a dream. Like, look at the room, the chandelier. Oh, everything just had me dying. So Instagrammable. Oh my god, are you kidding me? <gasps> and the star roof. This car costs more than my entire life. <laughs> ah, this is so cool. Like, can I just live here for the rest of my life? Please, Donatella, with a cherry on top. P.S. How hot is the bellhop? His name is Isaac. Such a cutie. He even gave us extra soaps after he caught us stealing them off the housekeeping carts. Basically, we're getting married. You can't go to Australia and not go to the beach, so we beached. We frolicked on the beach, ate a lot of ice cream, and Bailey got chased by a lot of birds. Just like she did in London and New York. And I laughed even harder this time. They're coming for you, Bailey! <laughs> My God, look at this. It's beautiful. Literally everything we did was perfect. The only thing we ever had to deal with was the weather. Oh, it's so windy. Maybe it's Maybelline. Or well, maybe it's the wind. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> we flirted with men. Kinda. We, we say it again. Hey guys, how are you? <laughs> so cool. Australia's so fun. Oh, hello Chris. Welcoming me to Sydney, are you? All right, guys, we're at the Ho Garden. <laughs> By the way, the bar back is so cute. Can you see him? Yeah, I've got some good footage of him. <laughs> but who needs boys when you got money? Oh, beautiful. Ballin. And we saw this sign. This has nothing to do with the vlog at all, but it had me dying. So here it is. We even got to stop in the beautiful Brisbane city, which was so, so cool. Till I saw this spider. That spider is so big. Then it was not cool. Okay, it's time to leave Australia. <laughs> we channeled our inner Dr. Seuss and took trains, planes, and everything all over the town. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, anyways, <laughs> sorry, that's distracting. I really need to work on my vlogging skills. Okay, so. Did you know they drive on the opposite side of the road here? Ah, so weird. But I did see this dog that looked like it was driving the car. <laughs> so funny. Speaking of cars, we also took all sorts of transportation. We were silly on boats. My heart will go. <laughs> <laughs> Bailey's literally holding my arm so I don't <laughs> fly off the boat. <laughs> had fun on trains, had fun on planes. Can you tell how tired we are in these clips? <laughs> Does this thing count as transportation? No, okay, but it was cool. 
We took a sky roll through the rainforest, which even though I'm a little bit afraid of being dangling in a tiny box above a giant forest, was totally worth it. Look at this view! Ah oh, yes, traveling through the broccoli forests. While we were there, we even got to skip through the rainforest, which I didn't even know was on my bucket list, but now that I did it, I'm glad I did. Plus we got to see a waterfall in real life. Wow, so majestic. But the biggest dream come true was visiting the zoo. Koala, 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 koala. <laughs> I got to see every single animal I ever dreamed of, and I got to say hi to all of them. Hello, Crocs. Hi. Hello. Hi, little Lizzie. Oh my God. Hi. Can we cut it? Hey, goodness, you're so pretty. Hi. Hi. Whoa. Even my childhood favorite, a platypus. <gasps> oh my goodness. Hi, little platypus. He's so majestic and sweet. Oh my goodness. I love you. Platypuses were my favorite animals for literally years. This is a dream. <laughs> Hi. Hello, birdie. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god! Hi, Kangi! It's so soft. I'm gonna cry! Oh, look it! Hi, little buddy! Oh my god. I knew I would fall in love with a fluffy haired Australian boy. I didn't know he'd have four legs, but I mean, okay. I'm not picky. Hello, you little dingar! Kookaburra sitting in an old gum tree. It's the best thing I've ever seen. Wait, please be in the. <gasps> Look at this extra chicken. Oh my god. <laughs> I love it. And I lived my dream of holding a koala. Hey guys, we're finally gonna hold him. <laughs> I'm so excited. This is the greatest moment of my life. I literally could cry watching this video. <sighs> ah, yes, my child, Tinkerbell. The acrylic claws are hereditary, by the way. That's why we both have them. What else did we do? Well, we ate a ton of food. We ate fancy tea with the most beautiful view I've ever seen. Like, oh my God, are you serious? Someone put that on a postcard. I ate dessert at night, dessert in the morning. I got two dinners because I'm fat. Fancy Italian food, casual healthy food. Food with a fancy view, food with a beach view, even food with a rainforest view. Featuring Bailey dancing. Go Bailey. We even saw a vending machine full of champagne. And if that's not a big mood, I don't know what is. Oh my gosh, look at this. Kangaroo filet, crocodile filet. Uh -huh. I ate so much, I practically had to be rolled out of Australia and probably gained 35,000 pounds, but it was all worth it. We even tried the local cuisine. All right guys, we got some Vegemite to try for the first time. So, you ready? Uh, let's try some Vegemite. Right. I'm excited. Here we go. Here's some spoons. Alrighty. Okay, we don't have spoons, so we're using <laughs> stirrers. Cheers. Uh, I'm scared. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. So, what did we think? <laughs> I'd say this screenshot says it all. <laughs> I think so Amber amazing. really liked it. I hated it. But we got some Tim Tams. Hey. We know we like these. <laughs> Much better. I wore ridiculous outfits that made no sense for the activities we were doing. I mean, I think this is scuba diving appropriate. The instructor didn't think so, but I say why not? Tourist wear, casual wear, beach wear. Sunglasses are like stuck on my head. <laughs> Fancy shopping wear, I wore it all. Everything's a look if you want it to be. And my personal favorite, my zoo wear. And of course, I shopped a lot. Is the coolest mall I have ever been to. So much, in fact, that I had to make an entire separate vlog of just me shopping. So stay tuned for that. And of course, you can't go to Australia and not see the Great Barrier Reef. So we did some Vogue snorkeling. My God, we've never looked better. Ooh, killa killa. Fashion Vogue. Ooh, yes, honey. If this is not a look, I don't know what is. So under the water we go. You can see all the little fishies. Oh my goodness, how cute are they? I even saw a shark. I didn't film that because I was practically peeing my pants terrified, but I did see one. And a turtle. Can you see him? My footage isn't exactly, you know, National Geographic status, but I tried. Crikey, we usually only see these in Los Angeles, but today we see a wild spotting of a rare wild eyelash. 
Whoa. We are so beautiful. We also stopped into a butterfly sanctuary. Like, how beautiful are these? Oh, look at all the tiny little friends. This is so cool. Should I be a butterfly photographer? <gasps> You're beautiful. Oh, you have a brother. <gasps> Maybe they're in love. Oh, <laughs> did I mention Bailey is also afraid of butterflies? <laughs> Endless entertainment for me. Bailey vs. Nature is my favorite reality show. Literally every single place we went was the most beautiful place we'd ever seen. Is this even real? Oh my god. Wow. Gorgeous city views. Beautiful yacht views. Midnight swimming views. Mm -hmm. Sneaky sneaky. Don't tell anyone we snuck up here. <laughs> the beach was beautiful. The view from our hotel windows. Oh, wow. We just took showers in our matching robes. How cute is that? Mm -hmm. Every window I looked out of had the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen in my life outside of it. This literally looks not re- Oh my god. The palm trees were cool too. And check it out. Oh my god, do you guys see that? Look. There's literally just wild carrots in the trees. And best of all, I met all of you guys. We're at the meetup, so everyone say hi! Yay! Oh, my heart is so, so full. Out of all the things I did, meeting you guys was my absolute favorite. You guys are the light of my life. And I will cherish these memories forever. I love you so much. Thank you. Thank you for everything. P.S. Your accents were adorable. I loved them. Overall, it was the trip of a lifetime. Australia, you were worth my mood board and so, so much more. I couldn't ask for better friends to go with, better people to meet, cuter animals to pet, and of course, more loyal subscribers to share it all with. Thank you for helping me make all of my wildest, wildest dreams come true. Love you so, so, so much. And don't worry, I'll be back soon. After all, like I always say, what if it doesn't come true? Ah, uh, but what if it does? Till next time, my angels. XO. <clears throat> I mean, XOR. You guys want to see a prehistoric chicken? Ugh, they're so weird. What the hell is that? There's so many of them. It's just me and the chicken hanging out. <laughs>